Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to Stash. I was browsing Steam earlier today, uh, just kind of checking out new games as I do. And uh, this came out a few days ago, I think it was about four days ago, and I thought I would check it out. It is a free-to-play game. I actually get asked quite often to check out more free-to-play games. Um, and this one eh, looked a little bit interesting, so I thought, you know what, let's jump in here and give it a try. I haven't played yet. I literally need to make a character. But to give you the quick basics, as they say in the description, Stash is an MMO with turn-based grade combat, highly customized housing, a tabletop art style, and more loot than you can fit in a portable hole. They actually go on to describe uh, the community of players shape the world and determine uh, the world's story, although that's not really clear to me in what way they can do that, but obviously I'm very new to this. So the big thing in this game is you're going to go out, explore the world, go through dungeons, turn-based combat, bring back loot, do some crafting, and there's housing in the game so you can have furniture and everything in your house and sell things from your base of operations, your boo as they call it. So let's jump into this. Um, basically, I've kind of been looking at this. I've clicked around a few of these things. Um, what I want to do is I want to go, I think with this guy, this big dude. Uh, stout face is fine. Protrusions, I haven't messed with any of this stuff. Okay, so this is like head stuff. <laughs> um, we're going to go with just the, basically the bald, no no hair kind of thing. We got eye color, hair color, skin color. I actually like this kind of stone look to him. Um, and I was thinking I'd be a hunter. So something along those lines. We have heritages here. I've kind of skimmed through these really quickly. I'm not sure what impact they have on the game. But we'll probably figure that out as we go. There is crafting, although only blacksmithing in here is the one familiar. Maybe farming. What else? thought there was one more. Yeah, those two. Those two are clearer to me as far as crafting goes, but obviously there's no mechanics mentioned here. We do have him as uh, plus 20 strength, so I don't know that that's the best matchup for a hunter. Um, you know, maybe he's better as a warrior, but I'm not too concerned about that. We're just going to kind of jump into this and see how it goes. We'll call him Weencast. Um, why not? Let's dive in. Okay, here we are in the world. When I first popped in, there was a little tutorial screen. It didn't have a whole lot on there. I did watch a little bit of some of these videos, so I, I understand kind of the basics. We can actually um, hold and move our mouse to kind of select squares here. We can individually click, or we can use WASD. So we kind of walk around. I should say we glide around. <laughs> we stand on a peg here. You actually get to choose what that is. I chose the stone one, as uh, it looks like some others have. So this is our base of operations. We could jump right into there if we want. Um, I'm actually not sure, capital city, what's in the capital city, but I do know that over here is kind of the first dungeon you go to. Um, there is one here, you can see level 1 to 3, and then there's one below, and it actually said west, southwest, so I don't know if this is considered the actual starter right here, but I think what we'll do is jump in because that's kind of what this game is about. You go to the dungeons, you explore, get loot, bring them back to your base of operations, so let's do that, and then maybe we'll go to the main city and see what's going on in there. Okay, I've jumped into here. We've got this information about the three kinds of dungeons. A world dungeon, uh, which is shared. A private dungeon, which is an instance dungeon. And then random private, which is an instance dungeon that can appear kind of anywhere in the world randomly. We are here. We basically are going to move in and try to gather things. Um, this is an encounter here. I believe this is essence we want to gather in order to do some crafting. So let's just kind of walk on down here. I'm just holding uh, S to kind of go down. And it looks like we could have stepped in there and fought them, but let's kind of walk around here just a little bit. And I can hold right click and move the camera around. I don't know if we can kind of gather anything in here. This is probably just an empty room. It looks like it may be. Okay, let's go out here and fight this bat. It's an encounter with a diseased rat, or bat rather. <laughs> it's a flying rat. Okay, here we are. This will be our first combat. It looks like we have a bat and a weakened skeleton. Up at the top we have a Q order. We can mouse over for information just like we can down here. Um, we have our action bar down here and it looks like combat is made up of two, two kind of actions. You have a move action and a combat action. If you take your combat action then you void your move action. So you've got to do one before the other. Um, let's go ahead and move up here if possible. Um, oh, we probably have to choose one. We'll basically choose that we're doing our move and we'll move on up to here. Now in the video I had actually watched, um, I saw this one, Brace. It says, brace yourself or attack, uh, brace yourself and attack the next foe you approach. And um, in the video he said that you, this might be a good situation where we couldn't quite reach our opponent. Oh, my time ran out. <laughs> had I done that, I would have swung back and attacked. So that would have been a good idea. 
Um, now let's see, we have act, and we do have, what do we have here, because we are a ranger. I moved us up as if we were going to be uh, wanting to get up uh, up close and personal, but probably shouldn't have done that. Let's um, let's move back. That's an invalid target. I guess I can't go back a space. There we go. And I want to see if we can shoot now. Two, and then two. Can we do that. We're going to shoot that guy. Looks like we did about half of his life there. He went from 40 to... 20. Now, if we were a different kind of, if we were a warrior, I believe in the video I watched they had a cleave attack so they could actually have multiple targets around the board. That's not us, so we're just going to go ahead and swing at this bat. Oh no, I'm surrounded. And there is flanking and everything in here as well. You get various bonuses, so we have to keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and swing at this guy. If we can, uh, gonna do multiple there. 28, so we actually did pretty good damage. It does look like I swung with my bow, <laughs> which is kind of odd, but that's okay. Two, one, swing. That's okay. My bow does good damage, apparently. So let's see, we have some sparkling stuff here. Um, let's see, I think that's what this is all about. I want to see. So use an item. We can harvest. Um, <laughs> wrong tool to harvest. I want to see what else was here. We can delay your action until the end of the round. You can end your turn, things like that. Okay, that's interesting. So we want to get the chest. I think we might be able to harvest or do something here if we had the right um, the right skill. That's another thing I saw. If you've got a certain skills, wood gathering, stuff like that, you can actually gather things. If you don't have them, then you can't really do anything with them. Um, because I'm clicking on this and not seeing anything, I think I can't really do much there. So let's move on. We're going we're gonna to click on this loot. So let's see. We have a dagger here. We have newbie noob <laughs> newbie niblets. Food is the main method for healing between battles in stash. Eat food. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's see. Now I think um, we can just go ahead and take this, drag that over. We don't have a whole lot of inventory spaces, I recall, but um, we're just starting out, so. That's okay. So we get popped back out in here and we've got more dungeon to explore. Let's go ahead and check out what this weakened skeleton is like all about. He doesn't look all that weak, he's big. So two skeletons, a bat, we have some um, herb laying over there. It's not my turn. Bat's gonna go next, it looks like. And then me. So I'm not really gonna get a chance to kind of get ranged here. If I select my move, it looks like I can move over here. Okay, I actually uh, did the brace and the skeleton came over and I smacked him as he got up to me and did some good damage. You can see he's hurt there, so that's cool. We're going to go ahead and swing at this guy. We do damage him. We are surrounded, so we're going to be taking some penalties here, but that's okay. Now the combat right now is um, pretty simple. I remember seeing that in the video. It was mentioned that the combat was very simple right now. Um, I did like a lot of the other kind of concepts of the game though it's kind of sometimes it's fun to play a game just kind of jump in do a little bit of looting bring some stuff back to your base stuff like that and that's because I like that kind of game from time to time I thought I would check this out so combat does feel a little bit simple one thing to note too is that you actually can play multiplayer and jump into these with um, friends and everything which I won't be doing I actually don't know anybody else playing this right now <laughs> so I'm really just here to kind of check it out and show it to you guys and let you know a little bit about what this game's about and check it out for myself okay so we apparently leveled up I actually was given a um, diagram of the XP bar but I'm in looking around I can't find it I click through a couple of these screens and I don't see it but essentially we leveled up and we can see in our inventory that we have some of the uh, they're called triads this is the currency and I, apparently you're in this when you level up so we've got some currency now and um, I picked up some of the loot in there. Apparently we got something that <laughs> you can see it says, you can never use this item. So I'll never be able to use this. I'm assuming it's maybe locked to a certain uh, class. But um, anyway, we've got, um, we also picked up some leather gloves, which it looks like we already had and they're similar. Um, so that's not really gonna help us right now. So we wanna move on, but um, our health is down a little bit. And one of the things that you can do is actually throw a campfire down, um, which will rest you. We can also kind of port out of here if we were done, but we're, we're doing pretty good. We're, we're 84%, that's not bad. So we're just gonna keep going. And we're gonna see what this thing is. This looks big and creepy, but um, I don't know. I think we're ready. Um, we could go for the bat first, but let's just jump right into this. Let's see how this goes, see how poorly this goes. <laughs> 
Okay, so right off the bat, they jumped right in here. I think what we're going to do is, um, let's see, do I want to move? Do I want to just shoot? Um, let's move back over here. Well, kind of surround us, but I'm kind of hoping I can take him out pretty quickly. And then we're going to go ahead and shoot. Um, oh, I did it again. I walked myself too far. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and brace. Um, because this guy might be able to get to us. I'm not quite sure. I mean, we do have this guy back here, too. This scummy water elemental. So we're going to see how things move in here. He's got, like, googly eyes back there. <laughs> um... Again, I'm trying to see this guy actually based on the way those guys moved he may not actually be able to get to me oh he did and we got to swing at him nice. so we got a good amount of damage in there which is pretty cool let's just go ahead and swing at him again um, which again removes our move right it loses our turn yeah or we skip our our movement turn let's see anybody else coming in here there you go so far so good not taking a whole lot of damage um, let's go ahead and do I want to move? Like I kind of, I'm thinking I might move and brace, um, because I'm going to get really surrounded. I kind of want to make them come to me. Um, let's do that. So the first one's going to get hit when they get to me. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. I jumped into another combat. I actually had one just before this. I ran through really quick. I've, I've moved up here and went into a defensive mode. I actually leveled in it and it looks like I've got a new combat ability, which is kind of cool. I want to check it out. So if I jump into here, you can see this guy, the Balestra 1, and it says it begins with a forward hopper jump towards your opponent, culminates with a skillful strike using this favorable position. So anyway, I want to try that out, um, but I was a little too far away. We're going to back up. Um, let's do this guy here. Can't we back up to here? I think would leave us enough room to three for this thing. Oh, did I do it again? I'm just out of that range. He's got to be within just kind of two away from me. Okay, so let's go ahead and defend up again. Beat you back. So we may not be able to try this yet um, unless I do let's try to barely move back. <laughs> I really want to see this. Three, go. Okay. That didn't quite do what I thought it was going to do, I guess. Um, we might be able to try it again though too. Okay, and we've used it. It's on a cooldown for a couple turns, so that's fine. Um, we're ranged out. We're going to go ahead and fire. Now, it actually gave me a tool tip that said if you are within melee range, you're going to swing and attack an enemy, and they have an obstacle behind them. They are considered to be pinned. It's like, that's good to know. Um, these guys seem to be wanting to stay short for range. I probably should have stepped up and swung since I seem to be doing more damage that way, but... That's okay. Let's just go ahead and do that here. Thump. One more hit will take him out. And that's all we have left. Go ahead and swing here. Finish that guy off. So we can harvest this stuff. And I think I left a few behind because I didn't try this. But basically when I when you use the harvest, um, I could actually select the enemy. You could see that was my turn there. Um, can I do it from range? Not quite. So we're going to walk to here. Four here. Okay, and then because there isn't anything else that I'm going to be going after in here, nothing else I can access, let's we'll go ahead and click the chest. All kinds of new stuff again. I have a feeling I'm about to run out of room. Um, I believe this was, to, yes, a 24 slot. We have uh, 12 more slots to go. So I guess we can take all of this, but we're definitely running out of room. I don't know if you can, oh, there is a trash icon, so I guess we could probably trash uh, some things, but anyway, I'll come to that. I'll make that decision when I'm when I'm forced to do that Okay, I finished playing around in the dungeon and decided to come into the main town here and uh, this is it We've got I think they called it the Rolling Stone In so we can go there. It's kind of a social hangout. There's merchants here a uh, place to start your clan or your guild, I guess um, So that's kind of what this town is all about we do have a little bit of money what are we at right now we're at 53 so we don't really have a ton of money let's actually talk to the chef here oh this is how we learn actually that's this is the different ways to learn things now i thought it might be kind of cool to mess around with enchanting um i saw a lot of stuff i was kind of looking up some information on the game and people were talking about um, chefs selling food because the food gives you good bonuses and stuff like that but i thought well if i was going to do this i might like mess around with something 
something else. So Enchanter, I thought, seemed kind of, I don't know, kind of cool. We will learn that. Become an Enchanter, why not? Looks like you can forget it if you wanted to change. So yeah, we'll learn that skill, why not? So this is something that we can make. Um, this is a recipe that we have, and I think we can kind of look into that and see what it takes to make that. And that would also mean that we could start gathering those um, in dungeon runs and everything. So that's cool. There's a merchant over here. Let's talk to let's talk to this dude. What are you up to? Look at your wares. So you got all, starter hammer, simple stove. There's an alchemist table. Right, a disenchanting machine. So this is probably something we need. Uh, magic armor. So we could throw armor in there and disenchant it. It costs five trees each time you do it. So that would probably get us like the essence or something. Not quite sure. Um, picks and axes, things like that. Okay, cool. So mostly just the starting tools there. Maybe there's more merchants that sell more stuff. Um, we you can you can buy from players and everything as well. That's something I'll check out here shortly. Let's see if this guy has anything different. He's got some food and a trap. So that's interesting. I do have the ability to do traps. I should have tried that in the dungeon. Um, maybe I'll try that a little bit later. Uh, let's see here. Got another merchant down here. Glide our way in. <laughs> Okay, same kind of thing here. Interesting. Let's go check out our base of operations. Okay, so I actually left town and went and did a full another dungeon run. Uh, I leveled up, got another inventory full of items, and I've come back to town because there was a merchant here. I'm going to show you right now. If I can click into this merchant. Go on. It's a little, a little slow with the number of people here, it seems. Let's kind of walk back. There we go. So we can look at the wares, and you can see this this person in particular had um, the different workbenches essentially. So I was kind of looking through this and thought, oh, I just need to get some more money. Now you can see him at 102 um, because I intentionally went out and kind of into a dungeon and kept fighting until I hit that number. Um, because what I need is this infuser. So we're gonna go ahead and buy that. I think I have space. No, we're pretty capped. Can we? I don't know if you can just drag stuff over and sell. Oh, we can actually click to sell. Let's do, um, let me look here. We want to hang on to the daggers. There is actually a taskmaster in, ta in, taskmaster in town that you can get quests from. And um, I took a quest to get daggers and I just need to find one more. So I don't want to sell the dagger. We'll just sell this guy off, sure. Okay, so that opens up our inventory. One, uh, two more, I guess we had two slots. Um, anyway, we want, we want this simple infuser. You can say used an enchanter craft. This is a simple infuser for an enchanter's craft. So we're gonna go ahead and buy this one. I think this is what we need in order to get things started. I would also want a disenchanting machine, I think, to kind of break stuff down. But for now, I, th I think this is all I kind of need to get started. Let's go ahead and buy that. That's in our inventory, we are now just about out of money. So now I wanna head back to the boo and kind of show you what that is all about. Back to the base of operations. I say back, but I'll be showing you for the first time. Okay, so we're back at the boo. I thought I would show you around a little bit here. Now I can't do a whole lot as it turns out. Um, we've got this boo inventory for us to place things out here. But unfortunately, there's um, a limited number of things to be placed outside. And as it turns out, I just had to ask around. Um, the infuser that I bought, it looks like is a thing that has to go inside, which can happen when I upgrade this place once, because then I would get the room. But that does require um, a number of these more materials, which would, you know, I have to go out in the world and find these things and do uh, more dungeon runs, which I don't exactly have the time for right now. But you get the basic idea. In fact, when I was out, I also found a bed. Um, so that would be something I could put down inside, a, a, a grasswood double bed. So I could put that down, that'd be cool. And this infuser, which would let me get started, but really I've got to gather some of these basics to get that going. We've got a whole lot of other items I can um, throw onto the stall to sell off, things like that. But um, anyway, that gives you the basic idea for that. You're kind of building out your area here. Obviously we have a stash to throw some things in. These are some of the materials here. They get equated um, to this area up here. I've got these four items. That's those guys. And then I just went ahead and threw in some essence stuff. I could probably do more of that because I do have more essence in here. So I could drag these out, make some inventory space. I don't need to carry these around with me because 
well I can't use these out in the world anyway and there we're at 50% capacity on our stash so probably just need to go through here clean a few more things up I think this is used as it says the sapling and stuff for farming so I can't really use these but because they're early crafting related I could probably sell those off pretty easily so anyway uh, that's kind of where things are at right now I'm kind of wishing I had a nail because um, I could upgrade my, um, my uh, what is a stall? I was going to say stash. <laughs> you can see I've got room for two more items. I can actually upgrade this. Um, if I had, oh, I thought I just needed a nail, but that's not true. I need some more money, and I need another shingle. That's interesting. Hmm. I thought it was a little easier to upgrade that. Let me click on this again. I'm going to go upgrade down here. Yeah, okay. I was reading it wrong. I thought I just needed one more nail. But anyway, we could get some more capacity there. I was looking through some of the other um, stores and they had a lot more capacity. Speaking of which, let's check that out. So there is a newspaper section here. We can actually jump into here. A couple different categories. We go to Crafter's Corner. And these are people's different stalls. My stall, I actually called it like beginner stuff. <laughs> so anyway, um, we've got all these other stalls here. We can actually um, click into here, see the different things they have for sale, price everything, buy those. So we, we're just out of money because we bought the infuser for enchanting, so can't afford anything anyway. But this could be a place I could go through and try to find a nail, for example, or a, you know, a shingle or something along those lines to upgrade. So that's kind of a cool system. Um, we have the various ways to upgrade um, things here. Um, that's a combat ability. Why are you showing me that? <laughs> um, so if I actually um, go through here, you can see there's a boo inventory. This is where our um, items will show up that we could place in the world. But um, I think other than that, and this view to kind of place things down, that pretty much sums this up. You store things, you sell things, and you can decorate your place. And it looks to be that you can have a pretty big place when you, you continually upgrade your boo. You can have a lot more space to put things on the wall and everything. It's pretty cool. Well, that should wrap things up. As I mentioned, I was just skimming Steam and ran across this and thought, you know what, let's install it. It's free to play. Let's just check it out. It's got miniatures and it's kind of this tabletop RPG feel to it, which is cool. I'm familiar with that. And I thought I would check it out. Again, I kind of like casual games where you kind of go out, gather things, bring it back, and you upgrade, you know, a base of sorts or a house, things like that. So that kind of piqued my interest. Um, it's very basic right now. The combat is very simple, very straightforward. Um, that could be good or bad. Um, I am hoping that maybe there's some more complexities coming in there. Uh, it might have been cool to try this multiplayer with some friends just to see the dynamic of how combats go. They're pretty straightforward, but obviously I was leveling up and still staying within that dungeon level uh, you know one to three things like that so anyway I'll probably check this out a bit more try a bit uh, harder challenges see if I can get my base of operations upgraded you know a couple times to place some things down to get a better feel for how that is but like I said I was just kind of exploring steam ran across this and thought I would bring you guys in with me as I check it out see what you guys think about it but anyway I do want to thank you guys for watching as always I appreciate it and I will catch you next time